everyone. Today's video is going to be my monthly favorites for the month of April. Wow, I almost said March, but I was like, holy crap, we're in April. Joel was just saying this, that I can't believe that we're like a week away from May. Where has the year gone? I told him, I was like, before we know it, it's going to be the holiday season again, and Riley is going to be one years old. It is so depressing how quickly these months go by. Anyways, I'm doing my April favorites. I have not done a monthly favorites in a really, really long time. Let me know if you guys wanna see more of these in the comments down below. I will definitely film them for you every month. I just kinda wanna see what you guys wanna watch. And Anyways, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, follow me on Instagram at Madison89Miller. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my favorites. And then I also have one product that I did not like so much that I'm gonna share with you guys. So let's go. All right, so the first product that I'm gonna talk about is a makeup product, and this is a MAC Cosmetics palette that I received in PR a while ago. Honestly, I found it in my box and I was like, why have I not used this yet? These colors are gorgeous. This is, I don't even know what the palette name is. It's MAC Art Library Nude Model, but this is what the front looks like right here and then the inside. So these are what the colors are. I really love the neutral tones and the coolness of these colors. These are definitely colors that I gravitate to. And I have been using this palette like non-stop for like, I wanna say the last two to three weeks. Even though I was like looking at it today cause I even did it to create my eye look right now. I'm like, it looks like I barely touched this palette, but I've been using it non-stop, which is crazy. My favorite color in this palette is this transition like mauve shade right here. It is beautiful. I love putting that one in my crease. That eyeshadow is called Pleasing to the Eye and it's a matte formula and it's just beautiful. I love this one. And then I go into this guy right here and I put him a little bit into my crease. You can really build them up, but I like to keep it a little bit lighter and softer, especially if I'm just like going for a casual everyday look. And then this sheen one right here, this like icy white, is really, really pretty on the lid too. This brown one right here is an amazing transition shade as well. So I can just create so many different looks with it. I really, really love this palette. The shimmers are beautiful. And again, I really like it because I can like build up to my desired pigmentation of what I want. And I kind of like a softer look for during the day, just every day. And I've been loving this palette. I've been really loving playing with purples lately too. So I feel like this is kind of like a safer way to play with purples because this color is so muted, but I think it's just stunning in the crease and I've been enjoying it big time and using it nonstop, which is why I was like, this is a product I have not talked about yet on my channel. I'm like, I need to talk about this. So I really, really enjoy this palette. All right, so next up is a primer that I use every single time before I do my makeup, no matter what. If I miss this, my foundation looks like crap. And it is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir 14 Karat Gold Infused Beauty Oil. I am obsessed with this. I have talked about this for a very long time on my channel. I actually just started incorporating it back into my routine. I don't know why. I think I was scared of an, like the rose hip in it for when I was pregnant, but I think it's safe and it's fine for pregnancy, but I was just skeptical. I was very like, if anything I like questioned, I just didn't even bother with it. And since I'm like done breastfeeding and everything now, I incorporated it back into my routine. And oh my gosh, boy, did I miss it. Especially if you have dry skin, it literally makes your foundation glide on so nicely. And you know what? I am oily. I'm oily in my T-zone now. It came back. I'm not like super dry as I was in the past. It's more of a combination where I'm super dry on the outer parts and very oily in the inner parts. And I still love wearing it because it makes my foundation just look so healthy, so dewy and beautiful. It just sits like it makes everything just glide over evenly. Even though I'm oily in the T-zone, I'm still not scared of this product because of how beautiful it makes my foundation look on the skin. Even if you are like fully oily, I would say like maybe use a mattifying primer on the inner parts of your face after you put this on, but you will see a huge change in your foundation. It is gorgeous and I just love this one. This is my favorite one out of all of them. I've tried a couple of them and this has been the best one hands down that I cannot do my foundation with that. Like no matter what, even if I'm in a hurry, I'm just like, psh, psh, Boom, like I cannot forget this thing. Another primer that I have been really enjoying that I put on top of the Farsali one is the Ole Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Face Primer. This one has been really, really nice. It definitely brightens up my complexion and just makes my foundation look just really bright and awake. Like I don't know how, 
like to really describe it. I just notice a difference when I use it. I really love the pump on it and it sits really well on top of the Varsali oil. So these two have been like my go-to that I don't miss. I love the Ole Henriksen line. I've tried a couple products from them and their Banana Bright Eye Cream is to die for. I went through a whole one of those and I've been wanting to repurchase it, but I've been trying to be really good about it because I have so many eye creams that I want to test out for you guys to like keep you guys updated on new products and stuff. But it's hard. It's hard because that one is so, so good. But if you guys are looking for a really good eye cream, I would definitely check out the Banana Bright one. And then if you're looking for a good primer, this is really good too. I'm not gonna lie though, I was a little skeptical about it because I was kind of scared with the vitamin C because my skin doesn't always react the best with vitamin C. But so far, so good. I've had no breakouts. My skin is still very clear and it's been working great for me. All right, so if my eyelashes look a little bit different on the bottom, it's because I just popped on some mascara because <laughs> I forgot. Now that I get lash extensions on the top of like my top lashes, I keep forgetting to put mascara on the bottom. I don't know why. I'm like content without putting on mascara. It's been so nice though. Let me tell you, lash extensions make your life so much easier when you have a baby, when you just like want to get ready really quickly. Or if I don't even want to do my makeup, I still feel like I look like kind of a little bit together with having lashes on. I don't know, I really enjoy it. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> okay, so next up is a highlighter that I think is so beautiful. I don't think Lorac gets talked about enough, to be honest here. I think it's because honestly, they're not constantly coming out with new products 24 seven, which is why I think they kind of like fly underneath the radar and that people don't really hear much about them. But they're so, Good. I love the little rock formula. This light source highlighter in Celestial is beautiful. Honestly, if you're looking for a very like vibrant highlighter that's opaque, pigmented, boom, like let me like blind you by my highlight, you need to check out this highlighter right here or even any of their other shades that will work well for your skin tone. They are all beautiful. The formula is so pigmented, so creamy. It is stunning. Check out their blushes too. I'm obsessed with their blushes. Like look at that highlight. Like need I say more about this? This is like beautiful. I love this color, especially when I am fair. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. It really just pops. But I'm telling you, their formula is so good. The color source formula for the blushes glides onto the skin. They're like seriously some of my favorite blush formula. And then I think they have bronzers, but I don't think I've picked up the bronzer yet and I don't know why. I need to make an Ulta haul here soon, you guys. I'm gonna do one very, very soon. Um, but I need to pick up the bronzers for it. But they're just really, really, really stunning. And even their eyeshadows are to die for. I am seriously butthurt that they did not do a Mega Pro palette this holiday season. They've done one for like the last four years. How could you not do it? But I think they sold the company. So I think things are like kind of being redirected right now. And yeah, I definitely, definitely was bummed that they didn't come out with one. Cause those are some of my favorite palettes that I like look forward to at the end of the year for. But yeah, definitely check out these if you're looking for a new highlight. All right, so now on to brows. I have been doing my brows a little bit differently now and I have been loving it. I have been so happy. Oh my God, you guys. So I was looking at old pictures from like 2008, 2009 and I was mortified. I was like, who let me leave the house with these brows? Like what the heck was going on with these brows? Cause I have never had brows. Like I have the sparsest brows, you guys. I've been filling in my brows since eighth grade. And I've just never been taught properly how to fill them in until YouTube. Seriously, the kids these days are so lucky that they have YouTube and like they're learning all these new makeup tricks. Like they don't go through that awkward phase and that bad makeup phase that we went through when we were in high school. It's not fair. Like Riley, she's gonna have it good and I'm jealous because I went through a really bad brow phase and oh, they just look so bad. But yeah, so I've been doing mine brows differently and I have to say out of all my years of doing brows, this is like probably my favorite, favorite like formula and stuff that I've been using lately. And I just love the color of them and how they look, I just, I'm just like obsessed with them right now. So a new product that I've been using is the Sigma Beauty product. I showed the entire brow collection in a PR haul that they sent over to me. And let me tell you, they killed it with this brow collection, you guys. I love the shades, I love the formula, and it truly has been night and day 
doing my brows and I feel like it's even easier to do my brows with, which I really enjoy too. But I love this wax right here. This is their clear prime and control brow wax. So this thing is so good. I have used this so much. I'm gonna be, I need them just making an order for a backup because I'm obsessed with this. Um, what I do first is before I go in, in with anything, just kind of like put this all over my brow and then I take a spoolie and I brush up so I can see that bottom line down there and it just allows them to like sit where I want them to sit even though there's not a whole lot of brows that I have to move around to be honest. But it just allows me to really see that line and to really just kind of get the perfect shape for my brow that is the most flattering. And this has been amazing. I think also if you like had a lot like more bushier brows like my sister and stuff, this would be like really, really great for you too. So I just like the way that this kind of just moves the brows and sets them in place. I think it does an amazing job and it's so easy to use. Like, cause I just go like this. I don't have to like go in with a brow product. Cause you know how some of them come in with the wax and then the powder and you have to use them with the brush and it makes that brush all weird because of that wax. Putting it in a stick formula like this is so, so smart. And it's very easy to coat your brows with. And then after I go in with that, I actually go in with a pencil. So I love the Sigma Beauty pencil. That blonde that they have was the perfect color for my brows and I need to reorder it because I ran out of it already. So I've been using my Benefit ones because I bought a bunch of them. So I've been using them up and cause I don't want to let makeup sit. Like I hate wasting makeup. That's why I give a ton away to you guys and I give a ton away to my family cause I hate it when makeup sits. But like I was saying, I was using that Sigma pencil and I would outline my brows to like underneath and then I would outline it from the outer parts but I wouldn't go all the way in up here. I would kind of like stop right here and then outline that part. And I was so bummed when I ran out of that pencil, but now I'm using my Benefit one, and that one's been fine because I've been still going in with the powder, which is another one I wanna talk about. This is their Light Color Shape Brow Powder Duo. I love this thing, like look at this guy. He has been beat up like no other. This has been my favorite, favorite brow powder just because I love the color. I love using that powder with my It Cosmetics brush. If you fill in your brows with powder, you need to get this brush. This is hands down the best brush I've ever used for brows. It's got an amazing spoolie on the end and then it has a really like nice brush tip that even has like little divots in it. And it just creates really nice hair like strokes for the brows and I've tried using other brushes for the brows and this has been my like only one that I enjoy and that I like to use. But yeah, so I just go in with the darker color on the outer part and then I fill in the inner part with the lighter color and it's just the perfect combination. I'm obsessed with it. And then I go in with their clear brow gel and I top that off. But these two are hands down like my, my go-to products now for brows. They're my favorite. And I've also found that like filling them in with powder has actually allowed me to like kind of do it a little bit quicker too. And then I just clean it up with some concealer when I want to like shape them a little bit better. This has just been the perfect match for my brows with my hair. So that is why I think I really like it. And then plus the formula is really, really nice too. Like I said, I need to order another one of those pencils and then I'm gonna order a backup of this wax too because if I run out of this wax, I'm gonna be like, the world is ending, I need my brow wax because my brows, like I don't ever really want to leave the house without brows because there's just nothing there, it just looks weird. But yeah, so definitely check out those products. I guarantee you, you'll love them and it makes it a lot easier to do your brows. Okay, so for the last makeup product that I have here is this lip color. And this is actually the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is gorgeous. I love the formula, it is so nice. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Get It On. It is so beautiful and so comfortable too. I actually kind of like the applicator too because it's so pointed that it makes it easy to kind of like outline your lips and then fill them in so you can get that like perfect line and it's not messy and this color is just a really pretty everyday color that sits really comfortably on the lips like matte formulas like there's i'm getting really picky with formulas right now because i think i just like want to be comfortable throughout the day and this matte formula is seriously one of the most comfortable and it's lightweight, it doesn't crust on you, it doesn't fade weird, it doesn't get like, you know, wonky in the inner parts of the lips. It just looks beautiful. So yeah, definitely check this one out. It's called Get It On and it's just like the perfect nude, matte nude. 
Now getting into some skincare products, the first product I want to talk about is a tanning product because now that I've been self tanning, I have gotten so many questions about what I'm using for self tanner and I've literally been using the same product for years and I try diverting away from it and I'm going to talk about that later, but I always come back to this because this has seriously been the best tanning product I have used hands down. This is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. So I just want to talk about this one again because I've had so many questions recently and I just figured let's just tackle this in a video. So this is the shade Dark. I do not like their two hour express. I know there's a lot of people that like that two hour express. I am not a fan of it. It honestly looks very splotchy and doesn't get as dark on my skin. It just doesn't sit well on my skin. And I think it's just because we all have different skin types. And for me, it just doesn't work. I know others that they like swear by that formula and that's the only formula they use, but I've tried it so many times and it just does not work out for me. This is the best formula that works out for me. I like the shade dark. I used to love ultra dark, but so far dark has been working pretty well for me. I might try ultra dark next. I have a lot of those left over, but I just like how even it goes on. It does get splotchy like, you know, throughout the week once you start showering quite frequently because it's coming off and then you really want to exfoliate really well before you apply it again. But I love it. I think it does a beautiful tan and I think it stays on longer than any other self tanner that I have tried. So I just really enjoy it. And it actually kind of even has like, not like a, it kind of has like a color guard to where you can see where you are applying it. So it doesn't get like super streaky. So my little tip with this for the hands and the feet, because if I get lazy and I don't do this, they turn out horrible and then people call me out on it. But if I don't get lazy and I do this little tip, then they turn out beautiful. So what I do is I do a couple pumps of this onto the glove and then I mix in like two pumps of lotion. I take a foundation brush, like a foundation like kabuki brush and I swirl that in together and then I coat my hands with it and I make sure I get in between my fingers so that way it's all even. And then when that's done, I take a small little pump of lotion again and I go like this all over my hands. So that way it like, if I miss any spots with the brush, it gets it and it just kind of dilutes it a little bit to where it's a little bit more of a gradual tanner. And that has been the best like way to do your hands, hands down. You also do your feet like that too. And it just makes like a nice transition from your like, you know, ankles to your feet and then also from your wrists to your hands. So that has been my best tip that I have learned yet. I just can't be like lazy because sometimes I'm doing it late at night. I'm like, I'm so tired. I just want to be done. But honestly, just do those steps and it will literally make your hands and wrists, everything just go and like, just be a lot more natural right there. So yeah, love, 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 loving tan. I think I have my code. I think it's like Madison to be honest, but it's not affiliate. You just get a free mitt, which I think the mitts are like 15 bucks. So you definitely want that because <laughs> their mitts are awesome. All right, so talking about a tanning product that did not work for me, my mom loves this one. She used it, she loves it. But the thing is, is if you guys didn't know, I'm half Mexican. My mom, full Mexican, first generation. So she's got that really pretty olive skin. I am like white with like red undertones. Like I'm take after my dad, I'm Scottish. And she swears by this, but I did not like this. This is the Tan Lux The Body Illuminating Self Tan Drops in light to medium. She has medium to dark. What you do is you actually mix a couple of these drops into your lotion and then you put it all over your body. This made me extremely streaky, splotchy, just horrible. Joel was like, what happened? <laughs> Like it was so bad in person, you guys. And I was just like, I tried a new tanner and it just did not turn out well. And yeah, so that was no bueno. But for my mom, it worked out perfectly. But for me, like it didn't really have a color guard because you're using lotion. So I'm like, I can't really see where the, if I miss any spots. And then when you miss a spot on my skin, you like see like a like a bright white spot that like coming through and it just did not look cute. It did not work for me, but for her it worked. So I think it really comes down to what your skin tone is. For me, it didn't work at all. So yeah, this was a dud for me, but yeah, I just had a bad experience with that one. It just did not work out for me, but for her, she loves it. All right, so I have two more skincare products that I wanna talk about that I have been like living by now. Like I'm obsessed with it. All right, so the first product is called the Tatcha Gold Camilla Beauty Oil right here. I have used this 
quite a bit. I've got about one third left in here. And let me tell you, I am obsessed with this oil. I drench my skin in this oil at night. I honestly, like I use a moisturizer every, like, you know, every now and then, but sometimes I just drench my face in this and I leave it as is. And it's been so good on my skin at night. Like my skin just soaks it in and it feels so just like, hydrated and balanced by the morning time and it just feels so good and i just noticed a huge change in my skin with it i mean there's definitely other products that i've used that has probably contributed to it but just like with the dryness and everything and balancing out i feel like this has really really helped and I've just been using this non-stop. I had a little bit of a breakout going on here because of my period came the other week. So I kind of broke out right there. So I stopped using this and I don't know why. And I was using acne treatments and it really dried it out. So I was like, oh my God, I actually have like a dry, a really bad dry patch right there that nothing was like no foundation, nothing was going over it very well. So I started drenching this in, on my face again at night and it literally just took it away overnight and it was awesome. So. Definitely love this oil. I'm a huge lover of oils. Like I have noticed a huge change in my skin since I started using oils. And I used to be so scared of oils, so scared of oils because I had oily skin. And now I wish I never was because literally stripping and drying out your skin because you feel like that's the only thing that's gonna like, you know, clear your breakouts it ruins your skin. It makes you age faster. Your, your wrinkles are coming in more. Like you do not want to skip that moisturizer and those oils, even if you are acne prone, just find a good oil that will work well with your sensitive skin. Because let me tell you, it is life-changing. It helps the acne heal faster too. And just, it, it seriously has changed. Like ever since I started incorporating them, I know it's a huge difference. So I definitely recommend a certain type of oil. You don't have to go buy this one. There are definitely ones from Derma E that are a lot more budget friendly that I really love as well. Like the Radiance Oil, Illuminating Oil, just find one that works for you. But this one I've been loving and I swear, just incorporate an oil at night into your routine and you'll see a change. You'll see a huge change. All right, so the last product that I've been using is actually one that I almost went and purchased on Sephora the other day. And because I saw this and I was like, God, this looks like an awesome product that I really want to try out. And I didn't purchase it. And I was going through my little like, I'm like looking over here because that's my, my walk-in closet. That is literally my like shopping area of where I organize all my products. I was going through my little shop over there and I actually found the product that I was going to order. I can't believe I forgot that they sent this to me. This is the Ren Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm for sensitive skin. And it is amazing. You use it at night. It's a melt balm with fingertips and gently massage onto clean, dry skin until absorbed. I put this on top of this. So I go in with this guy first and then I put this on top of it. And oh my gosh, it is so good. So good. It honestly feels like I'm putting on a cleansing balm onto my skin, but instead you're just leaving it on and you're not washing it off. And it has really, really calmed my skin too. Like this thing is life changing. I love this, especially for sensitive skin. So I definitely want to try out more Ren products because it's like clean skincare. And if you guys have any Ren products that you absolutely love, let me know in the comments down below and I'll pick them up during the Sephora sale, which is starting here in like four days. But I'm like by I'm like shocked by how good this product is and how calming it is on the skin and how well it just it just does an amazing job for my skin. So I've been really really enjoying this. I love finding new skincare products that are just so life changing because I get onto a routine and I really love certain products and then as you guys know your your skin kind of gets used to skincare products. You gotta kind of like switch things up like here and there. You don't want to do too much otherwise you're gonna shock your skin but you kind of want to switch things up here and there because your skin does get used to products. And whenever I find like a new one that I'm like, oh my God, I didn't think my skin could get any brighter and it did, it's got me so excited about it. And I love sharing those products with you guys. And this one, woo! has been awesome. So yeah, really, really like this one just for calming the skin and balancing it out again. Like I, I just love my skin feeling like a grease ball at night. Like, I don't know why, like Joel looks at me, he's like, you're so shiny. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting wrinkles. I'm not having dry skin. I'm clearing this up. So 
I love it. All right, so those are all the products I've been loving for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below, what have you been loving this month? What should I try out next? Because I really enjoy trying out products. So let me know in those comments and I will see you guys in my next video.